Hi, I'm John Lockwood from Creative Expressions, and today I'm going to introduce you to the new watercolour palettes the, with the mica paints in them. This is how they come packaged. What you get in the set is 12 individual mica watercolour paints. Because of the high quantity of mica that you've got in these products that are in the watercolour, you get a high intensity of colour, meaning that you can paint them on dark coloured shades. When you're working on dark or black card, you get an even more intense colour that shines through with the mica giving a beautiful sparkle to it. I'm going to take you through the range of colours that we've got. The options come in six different palettes that cover all the colours that you could need for any of your colouring requirements. Moving on to the palettes, you've actually got them, as I said, in six different sets. So starting here with greens and purples, again a range of beautiful vivid greens, purples, moving into blues, lilacs and lavenders. We've then got Summer Garden, which is a range again with more intense blues, pinks, creams, whites and again some subtler shades. Next we're moving to autumn shades. Again, as you'd expect from autumn shades, you've got browns, reds, oranges, and again going into the pinks and lighter tones. We then have the carnival brights. This set is perfect as your primary set. In here you've got your reds, orange, yellow, blue. You've got one of each colour in the primaries that you'd need, along with whites and creams that you can mix colours in there. Next we have the metallics. Again, these have got a higher level of intensity of mica in them, so that you've got a full metallic sheen from the paint itself. On light colours you'll get a beautiful metallic look to your colours, golds, coppers, reds, antique bronzes. But on dark shades you'll get a really intense metallic look to them. And finally, we finish with the antique shades, which is taking some of the softest and nicest colours that we've got throughout the whole collection and giving them that antique vintage look, perfect for shabby chic and for projects where you've got really beautiful colour tones in them. There are lots of benefits of having them as a palette. Um, my absolute favourite of all of them, to be quite honest, is the fact that they've got a lid that just opens. So in one simple product, you've got 12 individual colours easily accessible. You're not having to take off 12 separate lids and activate 12 separate colours. And again, because of the palette, then they're absolutely perfect for using with the new Cosmic Shimmer water brushes and spray sets that we do. These come in two styles. First of all, we have a single water brush. So if you just want one water brush and that will cover every colour. Or we do a set that has two water brushes and a spray bottle in them. For starting out, this is the one that I went for first, because this has got everything you need. In one palette and one set of brushes, you can get started straight away. So to start using the paints and show you what they actually do, I'm going to take the sprayer from the set, and I'm just going to activate all of the paints. As they're a solid, mica-infused paint, then they are completely solid in the set. You can tip a set completely upside down, no colour drips. You can touch them, you can do anything with them. These are solid and dry. They only work as paints once you activate them. Again, fantastic for when you're travelling or you want to do something on the move. What I've done to show you to start with is I've just taken a piece of black foundation card and I've stamped it with, this is the Daffodil Burst Striplet stamp, which is one of my designs. I've stamped it in perfect medium and then I've just embossed it using Cosmic Shimmer True Detail White Embossing Powder, which first of all gives a beautiful crisp white look on the black, but also creates a little bit of a reservoir for the paint to sit in. I've activated the paints and again, taking a full water brush, all I need to do is to simply move my brush across the surface just to get the paint flowing and then take it in and start painting the colour in. And as you can see on the black card, you just get an instant colour. And instead of losing the colour and losing the pigmentation as you would with standard watercolours, these are designed specifically that the colour will sit on the surface. And here I'm using quite a, a weak concentration because the benefit of these is, as they're a solid powder or a solid finished pan, the more that you actually thicken them, the more intense the colour will get. So, if I actually mix further and get more of the paint mixed in, 
I will actually get a deeper shade and more intensity. So just painting this flower again to show the difference. There we go, and do the centre. And we've just got quite a lot of intense colour and again intense sheen from it. What I can then do is simply move on to another shade and not have to change brush. And this is the big benefit of the water brushes. I don't need 12 brushes, I just use one. It's already set with the water. So all I can do now, if I want to go for a completely different shade, I'm going to go for the green, is just activate that. And I've got less water in this one, so I'm going to get higher concentration of mica, and I'm going to get more intense colour. But as you can see, the green is painting on nice and thick, giving me that colour intensity. But what I'm not getting is any mix through from the purple shade that I was using previously. I'll just put that on. And by embossing it, as I said earlier, what I've got here is a res reservoir of the actual design. So I can actually paint over the lines. And as it's a watercolour and not an oil-based paint, it won't cover the embossing. Meaning if, like me, you're not brilliant at staying in the lines, it doesn't matter because you can't colour the lines. Finish this flower off. And again, as you can see, as the paints are getting drier, the colour is getting more and more intense and the mica's coming forward to the front. So I could carry on with that one, but here's one that I've actually prepared and I've just got one more shade to do. So I've sprayed my palette up. I'm going to go back into the purple again. If the colour had started to dry, just take your spray bottle and spray your colour again individually. I'm going into this purpley shade and I'm just going to finish off these last few flowers. We go. So painting in, and again, I'm not being too careful because the lines I can't go over because they're, they've got that embossing powder on there. Dip back in. And what I've done is this particular card that I'm painting now, I've actually used all the colours from this set, but I've only actually used four of them. So for this entire piece, I've just used four of the 12 colours available. Pop that colour back in and fill that one. And one more flower to go. So that's the paints and how we actually use them. And then we get the finished look. And if I tip it slightly, you're getting a beautiful sheen off that and you can actually see the mica coming through absolutely beautifully. Moving back to the palettes, if I wanted to close these up now and I wanted to finish, I don't have to mop it off, I don't have to put 12 lids on, I just simply close the lid, pop it away and off we go, which is great. But that's brilliant because those are the sets I want to use. But what if I wanted to use, as I did recently, I went on holiday, very long flight and wanted something to do and I couldn't just sit and read for seven hours. What I actually did was wanted to take some of the watercolours with me, but I didn't want to take six sets. I wanted to take my favourite colours. This is where another one of the brilliant product features of these come in. All of the individual palettes in here, all the individual colours, are actually in little metal pans, just like this. What this means is they're magnetised down into the palette. So I can pop out the colours that are my favourite from one set, I'll use the sharper end and say I actually want four more, well we'll go with a different one, I actually want to add a white to this one so pop out a white and pop it in, quite like the gold and I'll have that one and I really like that red and then I've been able to put together one palette of the colours that I want to use and I can travel with. So all I took with me was some stamped images, my mixed palette, one water brush and my sprayer. Just make sure that you hold those in one of those little plastic bags when you go through security. I made that mistake. So that's the basics of what we can do with the palette. But what we can do with the actual product is so much more. All the colours come out completely differently. And these are some examples of the cards that I've done with them. On this one here, 
what I've actually done is I've stamped on the background with my daisy stamp and again embossed it in true white detail embossing powder from Cosmic Shimmer and just done a wash over the top. So I'm going to just show you how to do this sort of colour wash with a palette that we've got like this. Again, taking the one I've activated and just taking a plain piece of white foundation card and a large brush this time, I'm going to soak the palette. So I want to use the blue and I want to use the purple and I want to use the deep sort of rich purpley colour again. But this is a great thing about having them in the palette is to make a wash background you need a lot of water. By them being in a palette I'm not wasting anything. The water will evaporate none of the paint will be wasted. So it doesn't matter that I've put tons and tons of colour into this. So I pick it up on my brush and spray my card with the water and simply wash across. Take the next colour and wash it across and take the final colour and again wash it down. And that gives me a really light background. If I want that more intense I'd simply spray again and pick up more of the colour I want. And this is the fantastic thing because these watercolours have the mica content in them and a high level of mica content in them. They layer up. So instead of each shade you put on top being more and more wishy-washy, each shade as you add it on will actually get darker and more intense as it has something to sit on. And again, go in with the purple. And as you can see, because this has sat longer, the colour's got more intense and just enables me then to match them all together. And again, a perfect background that you could use for absolutely anything, for any card or any home decor project, any scrapbooking that you want to do. So I'll take you through a look of some of the colours as well. On this bookmark here I've used the antique shades and again I've only used four of the colours in the palette but it gives you a great idea of the colour intensity and also the amount of different shades you get in it. This one's from the Summer Garden and I've just used the oranges and the yellows in there. This one again is from the Metallics and again just four of the shades. And finally, from the greens and purples, I've used these shades here, which again work out perfectly with the aqua. And the one thing that I've found when I've shown people samples of this, I always say each of these have been done on black card. And nobody ever believes me and always think, no, they've been done on white card, you can't get that intensity. So here's an example done in the Carnival Brights and shows you exactly how well that red works fantastically on the black card. So those are the different colours that we've got, those are the different techniques. One final card and technique for you, this is a, a Marmite technique, you either love it or you hate it. I would love to say it's about 50-50 but it's about 70-30 to be honest, I'll let you guess which way is which. But this is again using them but hopefully if you see it you can actually see the sheen that you're getting from it. This is a very simple painting technique to do if you're new to using watercolours and new to using these and it's fun. All I'm doing here again is taking, this is a 5 by 7 piece of the uh, foundation card again in the coconut white and I'll use the set that we've activated and again using the water sprayer really activate your paints, take your water brush, pick up a colour and just splash it. And again wipe off the colour, which you could do on a piece of scrap paper, pick up another shade and do the same. The more water you activate in there, the more that it will do it. And we'll add one more for contrast. So 
So very modernist, but again, a great background. And what I've done on the original card is I did it in two shades of pink. And I simply then overstamped with my cherry stamp, put a sentiment on and matte and layered it. So there's loads of different techniques you can do with the watercolours. I absolutely love them. Being lazy, the fact I can close a lid and walk away is probably the best thing ever of them. But there's six different sets. Choose your favourites, pick out your favourite colours, make your own setup, and paint with the colours that you want to do. And that's it for me for now. Take care.